Yes, so I am Kate Farhi, and I played a character called WPCG Kingdom in, in Sweden. Well, I was cast by a casting director called, called Marilyn Johnson, fantastic casting director, who I think I worked with three or four times. Um, she had seen me in, uh, in a TV series called The Nearly Man, which I did for Granada about three years, two or three years before this episode of The Sweeney. Yeah. So she called me in for, a, for um, an audition a read, uh, and I got it, yeah. No, no, I, I just went up for this particular character, yeah. I mean, I think when, when Marilyn got read the script, she, she, she said she thought of me. So, you know, that was a good, it was a good fit for me at the time. What I remember, okay, so a lot of different locations because it was about chasing a gang of thieves. And so we had locations here, there and everywhere. Um, but what I mostly remember about it actually was that it was shot quite fast. It didn't seem like rushed, but actually when you looked at what we got through in a day, it was a lot, yeah. The, I think the, the, the thrust of my, where my character was coming from is that I was a, a rookie policewoman and myself and another beginner um, played by Albert Welling. I can't remember what his character was called. It was Mike, though, Mike something. We thought that we thought that we had a lead that we could follow that wasn't quite what the what the two guys were had in mind. So we kind of went off a bit on our own and got into all kinds of trouble for doing that. Yeah. Well, we started off in the middle of Soho. And in the 70s, Soho was kind of seedy, you know. I remember my first day was in Soho. And then we were out in fields somewhere on some back of some kind of factory. I think it was, we just used the exterior. And then I remember there were locations like on the South Bank, I think it was under Waterloo Bridge or near Waterloo Bridge, or maybe Blackfriars Bridge, Blackfriars Bridge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, what I do remember is that it was very good weather. I don't seem to remember it raining at all. So we were just, I just seemed to be outside most of the time in this very nice, you know, sunny weather. And of course, it's great in something like that when the weather's good because you don't have to waste time. You don't have to stop and wait and start again. And, you know, it was good. I was there for pretty much the whole process because I was, you know, it was in a way, it was my story. So I, I seemed to be there all the time. Uh, but I do think, and I don't think this was unusual, I think we shot an hour episode in two weeks. I, I could be wrong, it could have been a bit longer, but that's what I, I've got a strong memory that it was two weeks. So yeah, I was there all day, every day. I wasn't on all the time, but I was shooting every day, yeah. I don't know that I can re honestly remember a favorite scene. I can remember a favorite line, <laughs> because there's a there's a moment where um, there's I think I only have one scene in the whole thing with John Thor, and he is not happy about me at all. And uh, but I hadn't met him, and I think I remember we meet somewhere in the station, and I very cheekily said to him uh, something like, "Who are you, if you don't mind me asking?" And he wasn't happy at all. I mean, as Riga, you know, he's, he thought I was a very cheeky upstart. <laughs> and also I was going out with, with Carter. So he felt kind of, so Thor felt kind of undermined a bit, you know. He didn't like the idea that his sidekick was going out with this 
young upstart. <laughs> yeah, but I, d I honestly can't remember a particular. I've got flashy. I've got images of scenes, but not not a whole scene. Well, they were they were they were a pair. They were a pair, just like the characters were a pair. They really had each other's back. You know, they, they were a really good team. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they always got on, but I think they, they did when I was there. I would imagine they did. And I think I remember Dennis afterwards telling me that they, they that there was something about the, the putting together of those two personalities that worked so well for those two characters. Yeah, they were good. They were they were really good together. I think, uh, as I say, I only, I only had one scene with John Thorne, so I didn't work with him a lot. I worked with obviously I worked with Albert and um, another lovely actor, Patrick Malahide, uh, was in it that ep, and I think Ben Whitrow was in it. Yeah, no, it was a lovely cast. No, no. I think once you've once you've played a kind of a guest role, that's what my role was called, a guest role. It's very unlikely they're going to call you back for a different guest role. And I mean, of course, they could have kept WPC Julie Kingdom on. Uh, but the way the story went on, I, I kind of it, there was they were never going to keep her in because she she was too, um, um, what's the word, challenging? Yeah. Well, I, I, I can distinctly remember the moment I arrived on my first day of work. So it wasn't on set, but so the, we were, I had to turn up at, seven o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning at essentially was some kind of seedy sex parlor in in Soho and make my way upstairs and that's where all the all makeup and costume was going to be done it was it was our base and I remember walking into this room a very long room and at the end of the room there was John and Dennis, and they both had their feet up on a on like a box, and they were smoking. And um, John looked over towards me, and he said to Dennis, "Oh no, oh God, I hate a tall artiste." <laughs> and Dennis gave me a big smile and said, "Oh, I don't know." <laughs> it was funny. It was quite funny. <laughs> that was instead of saying hello. Hello, I'm Dr I'm John. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, costume, you know, it was the 70s. I was playing a character in terms of costume quite like myself. So they were nice, they were nice casual kind of 70s slightly hippie looking clothes and then of course my uniform yeah I've hardly ever worn a uniform <laughs> it was quite nice I had a hat and everything <laughs> okay so now I do pretty much what I did then um, I do some tellies I've just done some and um, I do theatre I also direct in the theatre and I also write. So I'm right working on two screenplays at the moment. Uh, but I'm going in a month to go back into the theatre. I'm going to do a play called Handbagged at the Kiln Theatre playing Margaret Thatcher. And of course, I don't look like Margaret Thatcher, but I have played her before. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to it. It's a very, very funny satire. So I'm looking forward to that. At all. Thank you, Andrew. I hope you put it together just the way you want it.